Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel Little Branches Crossing. My name is Taya and we are on Glenny. Today we will be building a little ice cream truck area. Kind of like an ice cream parlor but with an ice cream truck that drives up. So we have a pretty good sized area for this build. I'm planning to use a lot of the Festival furniture and some of the Sanrio items. It's right beside my cafe bakery on the one side. And then if I come down this little path, it's actually right up from my fish market. Uh, you can see the build for the fish market. I'll link it above, but without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm starting with removing all of these flowers that I've had stored back here. I wasn't sure what kind of flower I would be using for this build, but I end up going with the pink hyacinths. All the rest of them just need to be out of the way, so I just store them up here on the beach. But that's what you gotta do, deal with them another day. So let's fast forward a little bit here. All right, so now I'm just getting some apples so that I can remove the trees as well. And I run down here and see a balloon as well. So. This was kind of one of those happy accident times because what's in the balloon was something that I wasn't planning on using for the build, but it ended up being the green and white rattan stool, which is literally perfect for the colors I'll be using in this build. The moment I saw it, I knew it was gonna work well and that I was gonna be using it in the build. So very excited for that. And I actually had another one in my inventory that I hadn't pulled out. But once I saw the colorway of that rattan stool, I was like, well, I guess we're gonna have a couple of those in this build because that works out perfectly. So it's funny how the game kind of does that to you sometimes. So I'm laying down the light dirt path to start and then I'll put custom designs over top. This is pretty common nowadays, I, I think, adding the light dirt path with custom codes on top. It's nice because you can add flowers into it, you can add weeds if you like, and then you just have this nice base underneath everything that you're working on. And I think it makes especially the lighter colored custom paths really pop and kind of looks like grout between the bricks, if that makes sense. So I, kind of scattered out the patterns and then filled them in with the rest. So it was kind of random. I don't really go in with a plan, but I know that I like to have little cracks between the custom codes so that it's not just all seamless. So there's little breaks, as you can see there, they're kind of coming together a little bit more. And I have left a couple of gaps open for uh, some flowers to go as well. And I'll add another gap for another flower later on. So this is the main part that I wanna show you guys that I'm really excited about. And it's this ice cream truck code by Honeycomb Crossing on Instagram. It's beautiful. And she's created three different colorways and she has a stall pattern that matches all three colorways. Look at this cute, cute truck i love it so much and i didn't think of it immediately but i was going through my inventory to see what i could pair with this different colorways i didn't know which one i would do i wasn't sure if i would use the pink originally but when i saw the blue and the blue diner sofa for the front of the truck that i'll put on in a second i knew it had to be the teal i just i love the teal so anyways, as I was saying, I went through my inventory and I was seeing what I could pair with this and the festival items in the rainbow coloring work so perfectly with this color set. And I have been kind of wanting to use the festival items because they're very colorful and cute, but have not been able to find a place for them on my island until this build. So it made it super fun. To, uh, to include those items and they just match so perfectly and they really give that just sweet ice cream vibe to me. I end up laying down a little bit more padding just so that I can fit a fence behind and change my mind from the hedge to the lattice fencing, which matches perfectly with the bottom cone of the soft serve lamp. So that is a really nice color combination, that color of wood on the fencing. Moving my DIY bench out of the way because I have some tight squeezes over there with all the trees. 
which is kind of the next. I have to work on some of the transition areas in my island because there are some tight spots like that. I decided to go for the berry customization in the fruit treat set. I end up using the chocolate mint or the mint chocolate one later on because it does have that blue color, but I just wanted a little bit more pink at this point. It was looking a little bit too teal. I do add a lot more pink into it as well. So another color that I could have used or two colors that I could have used are green and blue, of course, because they're in that top stall design. I just really like the way that the, um, the pink and the teal look. They're, I think, some of my favorite colors in general. And I'm moving everything back a half square because I realize that I've left kind of an awkward gap of half a square at the back before it gets to the fence. So just shifting everything slightly back so that it'll work better. So I'm adding the street lamp back here. However, I end up switching that over to I think it is a festival flag that I end up switching it over to just to add some more color back into that corner. Um, but the Forsythia I do keep in that area because I find it so cute. And again, it has that teal and I love combining all these items together. It just comes out so nice. And I use the mom's homemade cake. So I guess you could think that they're like ice cream cakes. That's how I'm picturing it. I know we have that's a big thing in Canada is ice cream cake. So we have a lot of those around <laughs> like a Dairy Queen, um, ice cream cakes, but in truck format. Here's where I think I want to make it more of a patio with an enclosed hedge, but I end up not going that route. And I don't like having the hedge on top of the pattern at the back here because you can see it underneath. So I go with it straight onto the grass so that there's no weird line at the bottom, if that makes sense. So I have the Festival Balloon here, again, another one, but I end up not liking it because it's like hovering over it. They're such tall items. It's kind of hard to work with them as a foreground element because they are a little bit distracting. They move quite a lot love them but not in a foreground situation so there it goes and i feel like if i placed it a little bit farther back maybe it'll work but yeah i really enjoy the combination of seating uh, i see that a lot on people's islands but i've never actually done it myself i don't think and the seating combinations where you have for example i have the diner um is it the diner chair? Yeah, the diner chair, the rattan stool, and the cinema roll stool together. And I think it just looks so cute. I end up using the cute chair and another rattan table for the second seating area, which is coming shortly. And I'm just removing another portion of the path to put a pink hyacinth. They're so pretty. I can't believe hyacinths were actually my native flower. And I don't really have a whole lot of them on my island anymore, which is kind of sad. I think at one point I just had so many, I was not into the look of them. And then when I saw other people using them on their islands, I was like, oh my goodness, I got rid of all my hyacinths. So I've been trying to breed a few more just so that I can use them in the rest of my builds. Just planning out the seating and noticing that it's getting a little bit repetitive with the two chairs kind of lined up. I mean, that's kind of the way that it might be in an actual setting because it wouldn't misalign them. But for some reason, I find it cute when they're slightly askew. Like we have just one space difference or half a space difference between two seating areas. I find that's really cute. So. I move that one over half space. It also makes the entrance feel a little bit open, the side entrance feel a little bit more open. And this serving cart is kind of throwing me off because it's actually covering a good chunk of the truck and I don't really like that. Hello Sahara. Um, so I end up moving it because I want to have the cinema roll signage there, but I end up moving that over and then I miss the soft serve lamp being in that area. So I end up removing it again. And then um, I do leave the soft serve lamp like that, but the cinema roll signage I put 
kind of half over the entryway, which I really like the look of. So I love the cinema roll signage going half into the entrance area, but I do end up moving it slightly. And there I am ditching the festival balloon in that location specifically. And realizing that I think I need a little bit more pathing on the left hand side, trying to replace it with a flower, but I do need more pathing there and my shovel breaks. So Sahara, this is where she's making her debut. Walking up, I don't know why it threw me off so much. Just that little time where she was walking through, I was like trying to put down path and I was worried that I would click A right when she was in front of me and start a conversation. Uh, anyways, that's the final arrangement of hedges and pathing for this. You get it right eventually. And I love the parasol. I can't wait to see this area at night. I just realized that I have never actually seen it at night since I recorded this. And poor past me. I'm so tired of Sahara. I just want her to move. <laughs> but she does. She's okay. For the rest of the time, she's okay. And she redeems herself. You'll see shortly that she redeems herself. And finally end up with the cinema roll signage right there beside the soft serve lamp. And I love it. It is so cute. It's like the welcome area where you're gonna see the menu board, like what the special is for the day. I love it. So there's the festival flag going in. I really love the festival items, especially in this customization. It's so bright and colorful. I love that it's not, it's a rainbowy color, but it's not actually in the rainbow order, which seems super summery and kind of nostalgic for me in a way. I really like it. And I love how all of these items have those little tiny twinkle lights. So that will be really cool. Can't wait to see it at night. I'm really excited. Maybe I will go and check it out in an island update. Maybe I'll walk through my island at night for an update. And this is where Safar Safara, <laughs> this is where Sahara finally redeems herself after I customize this chocolate mint. She claps for me. So you're okay, Sahara, you clapped for my customization. <laughs> and actually, I really like the way that the chocolate mint looks with this. I, I like having a variety of things though. I think I will set my dream address eventually to cherry blossom season, not because it especially matches my island, but just because it's so pretty. So having some cherry blossom piles will make sense, but they don't have to make sense. Even you can have cherry blossom piles in the fall. Go for it, you do you. And the final street lamp is going in there. And I'm just trying to figure out where these cherry blossom petals are gonna go. I do end up moving them because I customized some scattered papers and figure that out. But now it's star clock time. I love these items. They're so cute and fun. They just have that really special little glow at night too. So I do have a yellow, a blue, and a pink one. So right now I was just trying to figure out where is this pink one gonna go without blocking a seat. And that actually created a little pinch spot putting it there. So I change it up a little bit, adding the pink star clock beside these chairs and then adding the blue one down here to add some blue near the bottom of the build. And that is pretty much it. I just scatter, I just customize some scattered papers that I hijacked from another part of my island that you couldn't really see them anyways. And I customize them to be the same design as the stall design so that it's like, if that's the, the truck's branding that they would have like napkins with also the same pattern maybe. So I thought it was cute, but I didn't want it too far away from the stall. I didn't want it too close to the stall. So right there at the entrance, I thought that was perfect. Like people had just dropped their wrappers or something. And placing in the final cherry blossom petal pile and then just some finishing hyacinths and we are ready for the reveal.
All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this little build. I'm so happy with how this came out. This is my little ice cream parlor, ice cream truck slash sweets area. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that butterfly. Perfect. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I couldn't think of a way to use the festival items on my island until now. Also, some of this really adorable Sanrio stuff, like this cinema roll signage, uh, I had been looking for a way to use that item. So I'm super happy with being able to use it. It all hinged around this soft serve lamp. I only have ever had the green soft serve lamp and it just does not look cute. It is not cute. Um, for my aesthetic at all. I just could not use it. So I bought this one on Nokazan. I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys like it. A good way to use the festival items as well as include a truck because you know, everybody's gotta have a truck on their island now because that's the thing. So uh, just a cute, cute area it came together so fast even though I literally had no idea what I was doing with it until I started placing items down. It came together super quick and I, I absolutely love it. So thank you so much everyone for watching. Thank you for being here and have a great day. Bye. Bye.